About a month ago, I made a video where I made Jinxie his very own Rainbow Six Siege operator, and you guys absolutely loved it. There were tons and tons of comments down below requesting for me to do Queso next. And as I was sitting in my living room watching a ton of Queso content trying to figure out what I should do for this video, I realized that he is not really a niche creator like Jinxie is. And that is when it hit me. Why don't we try to make Queso a final boss? And I'm talking about those bosses that you like kind of come across in like Elden Ring or something wild where you're just like, damn. I'm about to die. So I started by getting my wireframe right, and you guys can already tell where this is kind of going with this, <laughs> this image. Don't worry, there was a bigger picture planned, I promise. There's a lot of manipulation that went into this. But I added my wireframe and I added some rock imagery underneath the wireframe to see if we can get a similar scene to the Jinxie video, just a little bit more kind of polished. And after spending about 75 hours cutting out this rock image, I had a really nice foundation going. Except for there was one problem. It didn't look like he was standing on the rocks at all. So using my Photoshop brush, I tried to paint some in and you guys will shortly see a little bit later on. That was one of my biggest mistakes yet, but let's go ahead and move forward. After my rock structure was solidified i knew i wanted to solidify the scene so i added yet again a nice stormy background queso has like no good images of himself on the internet could somebody get this man a photo shoot or something so that we can get him in 4k because oh my gosh there is literally like toaster oven quality photos online that i had to use but that's beside the point because you know we make it work i went ahead and i cut queso's face off I that sounds terrible. I put Queso's face on the wireframe and I struggled for about an hour and a half until I was eventually left with something like this. Now I know what you guys are probably wondering, why is our wireframe holding a yoga mat? What is that even going to be used for? I'm glad you asked because it's going to be used to place a giant ass RPG on a shoulder. I'm not insane. I promise. I'm not insane. No, but seriously, how bad ass does this look? I was so, so hyped with the way that this looked <laughs> at the end of the day. The perspective was perfect. After a lot of finicking around, I decided to do the classic levels trick where I make every layer in the document dark and paint it back some lighting with some scuffed lava in the background, but that's beside the point. I started with a little bit of lighting around Queso and things were looking promising until I hit the first roadblock of the entire piece. Whatever this left arm is doing, right arm I mean, I know my directions. Now Queso's just kind of posted up like this when I kind of need him to be a little bit more badass than that, so... I chopped off his arm. I tried a lot of different things, including this random, disturbing image of a unicorn man. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What am I doing? And I kept trying to find out how to make the sleeve fit, and it just could not come to my brain because the sleeve was in the way. And then I realized it was the sleeve. Who would have known? So I took the sleeve off, and I made sure that the arm blended nicely with the rest of Queso's arm, and we moved on to the next step. Giant ass sword. Insert it here. That's what I did to the canvas. So I added this giant mystical sword, and I blended it into Queso's hand to make it look like it was very, very prominent. By the way, I don't think Queso has tattoos, but for the sake of the piece, we're adding them because a cool-ass boss would. So, sue me. Please don't actually sue me. I went ahead and struggled with lighting on Queso's head for about another three hours, and believe it or not, I gave up. I know those are words I've never said in my life. I'm just kidding, because like I said, I like to run away from my problems. The last two videos, you guys should know this by now. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because I do videos like this all the time. And the more that I do, the harder they get. So you guys want to be a part of that journey. Now, I noticed that in the original image, Queso was wearing a headset. One of these guys right here, one of these. And something that I noticed was it looked absolutely trash on his head. So I erased it. So I kind of have to add that back in just with a little bit of frost style. I gave him an Apache helicopter control center pilot headset. Don't grill me in the comments for that, please. And believe it or not, it looked great, except for, again, I could not get the lighting down for the life of me. I don't know why I was struggling with this, but I just was. But you see that little area on the canvas where, you know, the stomach is literally hanging out of the shirt? About a half an hour later, I fixed the shirt. You're welcome, Case. And then I started the lighting process. I took the lighting from the lava in the background and I made sure to kind of swivel it along the legs of Queso. I must say at first this looked a little bit scuffed, but I'm really pleased with how it kind of came out. And then it finally hit me. The biggest obstacle that I had to overcome in this entire piece. The fact that Queso is literally levitating on these broken ass rocks that look like shit. Who put that there in the script? Ooh, you suck. <laughs> So I went ahead and went to Envato and I grabbed myself a nice flatbed rock image to better suit the balance of Queso. And that is, I'm not saying because he, let's just move on. 
I went ahead and added the flatbed rock and I redid my lighting to make sure that the pants looked pristine. And obviously this piece needed a little bit of foreground so I went ahead and put some rocks in the foreground and painted a little bit of an outline to make sure it looked badass. Now we've started making progress that I've been yearning for the entire time I was making this piece. I added some lighting on the headset and it took me a while to get the beard right but with a little bit of a hairbrush I was able to make it work. Which left us with a nice kind of balanced side glow on Queso's face. After messing with pink light for about 75 hours I decided to move on to the next best thing and that is to make this damn rocket launcher, laser launcher, whatever you want to call it, glow because I love glows. So I painted a little blue area on the ring, kind of like the blaster side of the rocket launcher, and I decided to paint the highlights for the blue light. And I must say, at this point, I'm kind of losing faith because as a graphic designer, I'm running out of assets, and I know that asset gathering is a skill of its own, whatever, but it doesn't count when the images are literally toaster pixel quality. Allow me to demonstrate. See, what are you guys even looking at? You guys don't even know what you're looking at. Now you know my pain. I decided to mess around with a lot of different haze lighting to try to create depth in this piece, or at least what was left of the piece. And then I went ahead and added a little bit of smoke, because if you guys know me for one thing, it is that I love atmospheric depth in my pieces, even when they look a little bit rushed. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the video, I do run my own community over on Discord. If you guys want to join the Frostify Design Court, I left a link down below in the description. We do tons of events and we hang out all the time and we do game nights and yeah, it's just not something you're going to want to miss. Plus, it's an excuse to keep up with content. That's enough yapping from me. I'll see you guys in there. Let's go ahead and continue with the video. Anyway, I knew that there was a lot of elements that I still wanted to add to this piece, so I went ahead and added some fire, shrunk it down, and added it to Queso's sword. Because at the end of the day, it's a magical, majestical sword. Like, it needs some flame action. Seriously. And then I started adding some more haze lighting to really make the piece come together. And this includes a little bit of smoke and some debris and other things to make, you know, fire look like fire and lasers look like lasers. I added more of a pink side glow to the side of Queso's body and we were ready to move on to the finals. I thought that this piece was missing something. And if you guys recall, in Jinxie's video, I made a super badass little typography mark for the poster. I decided to do the exact same thing, but for Queso. So after I got done wiping my my tears I opened up Cinema 4D and I typed out Queso and I did a little bit of experimenting with some 3D lettering if you will <laughs> fancy designer term <laughs> now I must say the word mark is not even that bad but I still felt like this piece was missing something Easter eggs now one of the things that Queso is known for is his love for fast food and that is not because of his weight it is actually a part of his brand so before I get a bunch of hate comments Hold your horses. So I decided to go to Envato Elements again and grab a holster, but not just a holster for a weapon or a gun, a holster for some mother McDonald's fries. And I must say, kind of came out pretty badass. Per tradition, I added a nice duotone version there for us to kind of ooh and ah at all at the same time. Let's do it. Ooh, ah. But anyways, that is going to be Queso's piece. I want to know, what did you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. I personally enjoyed how it turned out. Let me know down below in the comments if there's a creator that you guys want to see next. And per usual, let's go ahead and get Queso to see this, all right? Do me a solid and have a good rest of your weekend.